last we got the news. Them saying they are now going to have to look at the way of addressing this new phenomenon of the teenage pregnancy. Just like domestic violence has increased throughout the world yes. during COVID, so has teenage pregnancy. was ideally created to divide and to rule and to conquer people. To conquer people, you make them subservient. How do you keep them subservient? You don't let their state, social status grow. Mm. You keep them as mm -hmm. blue collar workers, mm -hmm. let them stay dependent on you mm. as the provider of services. And you constantly were fighting to try and improve our lives and it's still like that. Wow. And that's how communities are all over the world, where there's oh, no right. equality. Right. So there's no equality and equality, fighting for that equality or seeking equality is what communities want at all times. And just basic services, water, uh, security, a roof over your head, good education. So those, and health, of course. So I'm talking health because there's the clinic Clinical. over there. Yes. This was, there was an old existing clinic. Remember, this was part of my school. Yeah. So the old clinic was demolished and a new one built about five years ago. Yeah. Okay, so this clinic almost serves as a, 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 as I'm a cousin, a port of like your first port of call when you fall ill, okay. you don't go straight to a hospital. Okay. The whole of South Africa is like that. Mm -hmm. We've got clinics for for your day-to-day -day medication, mm -hmm. like uh, high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, uh, AIDS clinics, etc. Or even going taking children for for immunization. So it's primary health care. It's called. You have to start at the clinic or a GP. They can refer you to a hospital. You only go wow. to a hospital under emergencies. Okay. You can't walk off the street to a hospital. Oh. You need a referral from. Okay. So they take care of primary health care. Okay. The new government, all primary health care is free, even for immigrants, illegal immigrants. So our Immigrants or illegal immigrants, it's free for anybody who is in South Africa. Uh, and it is a big strain on their system. But if the money is properly apportioned or used, we should be okay. So South Africa, you can get open heart surgery for free. Wow. Mm. Oh my goodness, I yeah. didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. No. So wow. social social welfare, we've huh. got the biggest social welfare program on, on the continent. Ooh. Wow. Okay, children from birth uh -huh. till 18, born to unemployed or struggling parents, mm -hmm. get like a stipend from the government mm -hmm. of about 450 a month. It's not much, but they've calculated that's about what a person needs mm -hmm. to, to survive, to buy food. So some households depend totally on income they get from children. And then from age 60 upwards, we get like an um, old age pension. Every South African qualifies for that unless you get a government, uh, an employment benefit pension. Then you shouldn't apply for it. But the systems are not integrated, so some people collect it still. Even if they get from their, their government, uh, from the employment benefits, they still take benefits from the government. Yeah. So social welfare um, is a big program. Mm -hmm. They just introduced another one for that missing middle, mm -hmm. 18 to 59, mm -hmm. during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, unemployed adults got 350 rand 
the person from the government. That also had its own challenges. The system didn't work completely, but it's there. And we are now fighting for... Um, there's a new one that people are asking for unemployed for their benefit to continue beyond COVID. Remember, it was a huge, it was like seven. It was a big center. campus, a huge campus. Yeah. Oh, wow. But it was dilapidated. Mm. Was that your elementary school experience or new? Elementary. 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 So ours, okay. we call it primary, primary and high. Primary, yeah. yeah. Or okay. primary and secondary. Oh, okay. So I was here seven years, grade wow. one, grade two, up until standard five. Mm -hmm. Uprisings in 1976, mm. my dad then sent me to boarding school. Mm. Yeah. Hello, hello. 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 These are murals done by Sean uh, Constant, and he did this quote from one of my dad's books. So that's my dad there, Dr. Uh, Don Matera. So those were three universities gave him honorary degrees, doctorates for his contribution to literature and activism. Okay, so nothing is greater in life than building a genuine educational endeavor that heals and rebuilds a firm, strong community that will effectively engage the youth towards a truly liberated South Africa. So just to encourage education and learning. Okay, so these, this section here, okay. going from there, is called pedestrian court. So okay. they built it so such that it really is... Oh. <laughs> She actually parks her car in my girlfriend's So, uh, vehicles don't have through fare. Okay. So, if you go okay, in, you have to come back out. Remember, originally, or oh, this community had many gangsters. So, police used to get frustrated when they chase people who drive through in the old township. But pedestrian court. Once you're in, the police, the police chase you. Like you have to either get out of your car and run, but they get the cars. So that was their idea of operating pedestrian court. It, however, worked against them. Because at the corner, further up, there's a hospital, and there's a main road mm -hmm. with trucks mm -hmm. that deliver goods, and the young boys, Young gangsters, they called them trucker doors because they mm. robbed trucks. Mm. So they would rob the trucks and run in, and the trucks can't chase them because it's for pedestrians. So yeah. That's why they call it the cheese, because the cheese, like Swiss cheese. Uh -huh. a lot of old cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Any shade? I mean, it was a funny thing that we had. Mm. Like, we were dark skinned. You know, I mean, you, by such, I mean, you look black, right? Yeah. But um, it depended on, on geographics. Like, if you were predominantly in this area, we would, we would speak Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. You would possibly know a black language, but you would be considered colored, right? Ah, yes. So, in, in our eyesight, in our line of sight of people, it didn't matter what color you were mm -hmm. you were it was more collective okay. you know um, so 
skin color and heritage didn't matter. That's why Sophia Town was uh, like that. It was it was, it was, it was a, a mixing mixed bag of people. Okay. And then the government didn't like that mixing, you see. Uh, so for us, you know, your your skin tone didn't matter. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <clears throat> You see how it is, Gordon. Yeah, yeah. That would be the, the, the outlook mm -hmm. on, on, on skin color. Okay. You know, we say we call him the black one. Yeah. yeah. He's the white one. You saw a guy with blue eyes. Uh huh. So we, it was just, I mean, just imagine your mind trying to separate people, you know, every day. Yeah. It was poisonous, you know. Uh -huh. So we just, we just stayed as a collective, you know. It's a boy who does this mural. He's an architect and does. Oh. Okay. That's new clay. This is the end of Westbury. This is the end of So okay. we started where we started. Uh huh. That corner up until the traffic lights. This okay. This block is Westbury. Ah, Westbury. Okay, gotcha. And new clay. That's another community. Ah. Mm. Oh. Uh, is it AFM? What's that? Uh, AFM. 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 Them saying that I'm now going to have to look at the way of addressing this new phenomenon of the teenage pregnancy. Just like domestic violence has increased throughout the world yes. during COVID, so has teenage pregnancies. Yeah, look at it geographically, strategically, Shabin's a place it wasn't reach, you know? Uh, oh, uh, bottle stores? Well, oh, liquor stores, yeah. okay. Yeah. On the corner, yeah. yeah. People who get good, good supply, you know? Mm. So we have Shabin's, which are like what your speak is, is used to be. Uh, so uh, households run that, but under the apartheid government, they were not licensed. In the new government, they license and there's grades. So there's shabins, take away shabins, and then there's taverns. Taverns is where you can sit and consume, but they must they must sell food and there must be toilets as well mm. for their patrons. Remember, such establishments under apartheid were created as recreation because we couldn't go to white facilities, mm. restaurants, or we were not permitted to build our own. So people operated illegally from their homes. Coronation Road okay. is just across the road where my grand grew up, my okay. grand loved. And that was that town, a coronation name, the name was uh, built in commission of the Queen of England. Oh. So the, the structures are similar to the homes in England. So that was given to the colored folks, you know, specifically, okay. you know. And it's called oh, court, so coronation. Coronation, oh. as in the it was commemoration of the coronation of the Queen. Oh, yeah. Wow. They, 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 they did discriminate in that way. They would say African natives would be lesser uh, than colored folks, you know what I mean? Wow. Okay, so, just because of our, our, our mixed heritage. Uh, <laughs> oh, from where? Let's find out. Let's take him a photo. Let's take him a photo. Unfortunately, I don't have my nine with me. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks, thanks. Oh, good to see thanks you. Thanks for residing here all day. Oh, yeah, 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 man. No problem, man. Yeah, we enjoy being please around. Please continue from a please. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, you don't have to smile. Just smile, just share. Just smile, just smile. Where's Barry Away? Ah. Where's Barry Away? 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 Where's Barry Away?
Yeah. Sure. I see you both. So uh, when are you going to come around? Later. I haven't seen babes in a long time. So, come so just like many native communities all over the world who are oppressed, alcoholism is a big problem amongst our communities as well. Yeah. Yeah. In the Cape, it was even worse because that's our wine and brandy producing areas. Uh, so people got paid in alcohol. Okay. It's called the tax system mm. to keep people drunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Man. it's all that's oppressive all systems. Yes. Mm. Wow. So you were born there. It used to be called Coronation War Hospital. The new government changed it. She was Rahima Musa, who was a political activist from Ukraine. Mm. So they renamed the hospital and they've just dedicated it to mothers and child and children. So it's a children's hospital and all matters to do with um, like um, pregnancy, maternity. So like in these areas, like right now, um, what do people need the most? What people need the most here yeah, is like drug rehab centers or employment. So employment would alleviate most social ills. Yeah. Yeah. Team. I was gonna say team pregnancy yeah. with that issue. So um, if you have a lack of like social things for the children to, to things do. Things to do. Things yeah. to do. Yeah. And also, like many ho houses, mm -hmm. are still devastated by uh, AIDS, the effect mm. of AIDS. So it's child-run households. Mm. So you know, so guidance from adults. Yeah. So it's like almost generational people struggle to break out of the poverty. Mm. Uh, so I think good education, employment mm -hmm. will help such. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So what is it? No, it's 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 got the uh, same or similar properties that the marijuana plant. Has. This? Yeah, but they don't smoke it. They use it for for chest ah. for chest issues. Yes, around that ladybug. Yeah, what's that called, Ana? Hmm? Oh, that's yeah, another Ana's ladybug. Using her Google. Uh, I've seen like three ladybugs today. Right, is it? Let me see. Let's find out what it is. You should take a Google link. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Here. So you could like make that into a tea? Yeah, yeah wife, they I drink wish. it mostly for chest ailments. Mm. Yeah. Do they have that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so what is it? Oh, so they say as a legal substitute for mar. So yeah. that's right. It's brewed as a tea. Called, yeah, we what? call marijuana tacha. Okay. So there's a wild tacha. Uh, okay, that's what they call ear. it. Yeah. Lion's ear. Oh. What's the benefits again? So the benefits of it, they they brew it as a tea for fever, coughs, room, oh, sorry, womb prolapse, and malaria. Mm. Mm. And it is sometimes used as a legal substitute for marijuana. Mm. This is called khaki boss. Also, an... Very pungent. I've seen this before. Yeah. So this oh. is. Yeah. Okay. You got like yeah. a mm -hmm. different kind of smell mm. to it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we call it taki boss. I don't know what. Okay. Good food. 
Houses were for them. Then, towards the late 80s, they permitted people to buy. Remember 1989, 90, Mandela was released, so our struggle became more intense. And the government slowly relented to some of the restrictions. So then they permitted colored or black people to start owning. So people took these, so these are mostly mortgage domes. Ah. But, although those were only for rental, mm -hmm. the new government now gave them title deeds. So they oh. also own it. Oh, own. Like they. Oh. Ah. Okay. Okay. The community center, uh -huh. that was opposite. Circle. <laughs> right. What's this street called? Is this? This is Perth. 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 P E R T H. Perth. Oh, Perth Street. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, yeah. linking up with us you today. Welcome. I appreciate it. No problem. Enjoy the yeah. Yeah. No problem. We we family now. Yes. Okay. Right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, great. Thank you, man. Oh. I'll see you soon. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Hey, go well. Yes. Sure, see you. Okay. We'll see you. We'll see you in touch.